Try your frog. Open up. Let me see. <laughs> the tree splits itself open slowly and inside its trunk were the most delicious foods Aina could imagine. He grabbed a chicken leg and munched it to be sure that this was not some trick hair had played on him. It was real food. Closer, closer. Aina played it. He looked around huh, to be sure there was no one else around. Oil from the chicken dripped down the sides of his mouth. And then he he had a whisk with him. You know a whisk? Huh? The tail of an animal. Huh? He, he, he uses that as his magic charm. So, what does he do? Sign Heine stepped into the burning sun, raised his head towards the sky, waved his powerful whisk, and prayed aloud. If the spirits of my fathers live, if the gods of my village are powerful, then let this tree uproot itself and land on my head. <laughs> the spirits and the gods heard the prayer. In that very moment, the tree rose, its roots breaking up the earth, and it sat upon Hyna's head. Hyna smiled and set off for his house. The tree was heavy, but as he thought of all the food he would be able to eat without ever again sweating in the sun, his body found added strength. By the time Hannah got to the front of his house, his neck had disappeared into his shoulders. His legs were wobbly and his salty sweat was blinding his sight. Hyena stood in front of his house and prayed once more. If the spirits of my fathers live, if the gods of my village are powerful, then let this tree remove itself from my head and plant itself right here in front of my house. 